as you can see in the top left, 102 PKs to zero. I have been making so much money this season, yet again, if you watched any of my videos, just PK and absolute bank. I will eventually show my bank, but I'm just waiting for everything to sell, it's taking a very long time. So, this time we're upgrading to a Ring of Suffering. I actually got the Nightmare Zone points to imbue it, which doubles its stat. And basically, it's just a sick ring, and basically it has unlimited recoils, which is very overpowered for DMM. And then I'm also going to be using the Dragon Fire Shield. However, I'm going to have to wait until like a few minutes in the video till a new cap so I can get 75 defense to actually equip it in the first place. I found a guy's safe spot in Gargoyles in Mystics and unfortunately the Gmod did not hit through his robes. And it's super easy to escape here because everything is aggro. I'm solo. I can't even PJ the Gargoyles off him because I don't have the Slayer level. But at least I'll give it a go. What? Fail? I thought he tallied when I saw the animation. Wow, I just PK'd bank. He had loads of loot in him. That's why I'm starting to bring 15 Mish Seeds so I can drop them for loot and then I'll just have more in my bank. 550k. These PKs seriously add up. I've got so many sets in my bank. I found this guy on really low health. Like, look at that. I thought I could Blitz KO him. However, he ended up seeing me and he tried running to the agility shortcut. That's RNG coming through. That's probably my biggest Gmol spec yet. And as you can see, a full invent of loot. He literally only had three doses of brew. So if he made it to the agility shortcut, there was a chance he could have escaped if he duked me. Went back for the rest of the loot. Gmall coming in again. Unfortunately, I left the D boots on the ground because I was in a bit of a rush before his team got on me, before my immunity ran out. So I ended up leaving the D boots on the ground. But apart from that, look at that loot there. Two keys from Gargoyles, which will most likely be mules. However, a PK. Boom. Okay, 500k. Um. Okay. And then, yeah, pretty much garbage. But I PK'd a lot of that guy. Oh my, I just hit a 50 into the DDS. There we go. Wow. 50, yeah, exactly what I thought. F 50 D ball. That's insane. This standard loot right here adds up so much. Because if we get like 20 people, that's automatically like 7 mil just in a standard PK. Easiest place to find people is between Varric West and the Grand Exchange. Obviously, it's the hardest to get people there because they're literally one freeze away from the safe zone. And it's just full of people trying to lure school people into the safe zone. And whip finish them off. Come on. Nice. Nice little PK there. Not sure what this guy was doing. He was stood in the fishing shop in Catherby. Maybe he's waiting for people like me to skull on him. Gmol. Nice. Okay, well, that was weird. That was easy. Huh. What the hell? I'll take it. Look at that loot right there. Decent amount. He was about to be unfrozen in like one second. Wow, could that get any clutcher? Nope, it can't. Like literally one more hit, he would have run in the bank. Taking way too long to find people, so I thought I'd wait out my skull, but next to a teleport spot and like maybe someone might teleport in. Nice, one more. Nice. <laughs> Five keys. Just before the cap as well. 
The cap is in four minutes, so no wasted XP. I just wonder where he went. Extended antifires. He must have gone to maybe KBD. Damn, it's been a while since I've had five keys. Like a boss. An absolute boss. Five decent keys at this stage in the game with that many people on. I'm pretty proud of myself. Come on, surely one of them has got to be good. Okay, that's a good key. No idea who is it from though. And the rest of them are pretty much garbage. Happy days, it's time to put the DFS to use. The dream gear has been achieved. The dragon fire shield, don't worry, it is charged. I didn't forget. Uh, there's not much I can upgrade at this point. I don't know whether there's any God Wars items in the game. I'm sure there will be, but I've not heard of any. There's no occults. I've not heard about any primordial boots or anything, so I pretty much got the best gear like possible. I will still be using a dragon defender switch just because of the accuracy. So look at this, slash 112 with the dragon defender, 136. It's still definitely worth bringing it. Abyssal demons love finding people here because obviously if they've got 85 slayer, got decent gear and a decent bank hopefully. Oh my god, that fakey. Oh my god, that was good. Okay, he had a Gmol. He was gonna try anti me there. The only guy in the entire Slayer top. Again, less and less people on DMM every single day. The loot. This guy's got blue D hide, a black mask, and D boots with a power on me. I don't know. Yeah. No way! Black Mask! What on earth? Why did he have so many prayer potions? I don't know what he was up to. Anti-poisons? Okay, that's really weird. So he had a light ballista, but it'll obviously be in his deposit box. I wouldn't even use a heavy ballista because the dragon javelins must be so expensive. And because it's a two-handed weapon, it would just mess up my invent and everything. And plus you don't have a shield if you're fighting PKs. I have a feeling the second key is going to be really good because that guy was mysterious. He had a Black Mask and D-Boot, so he must be rich. Okay. 978k, 268 sharks. I have no idea. That's really good. Bruh. So basically, if you didn't catch what just happened there, Evil Bob spawned the random event, and this guy escaped through the random event. 200 IQ escape. Yak city skank, yak, yak city skank. <laughs> What? No way. Are you serious? What was he doing? Oh my god, that was the most clueless person I've ever seen in my life. Oh my, 4,000 death runes? Are you serious? What have I just bumped into? PK'd 100 D-Ball E's. I am so confused. I just PK'd bank. Wait, did I PK? Yeah, I did PK a whip. So I just PK'd 5 mil. I bank tanked this guy for literally 30 minutes and I had three very good KO opportunities with the Gmol and this exact scenario happened three times. One of the Gmols hit massive and then the other two hit zero on like 20 HP for a whip as well. That guy had some of the biggest loot I've ever PK'd but what's in his bank? A 1 mil? And that is a strong 1 mil key as well, damn. That's actually insane, what the hell? The long-awaited DMM bank video from 119 PKs. The only thing is, a lot of stuff I still need to sell. It takes forever because there's hardly anyone playing. Boom, 26 more cash. Look at all those supplies. By the way, supplies are worth loads because obviously everyone's quit, so supply and demand. 296 Dragon Ball E's worth 7k each. Yeah, as you can see, I got quite a few duplicate items. I got three whips. A tentacle whip and two, and then two black masks. Dragon fire shield, which is worth like seven mil. Ring of suffering, probably worth another seven mil. First price check coming in at 49 mil, plus these two together are 15 mil, so that's 64 mil. Not done yet. I bought the Kraken tentacle for three mil, and then the whip was 2.5, so that's 5.5 mil on top of that. We're looking at a 74 mil bang, yeah. 
I think I'm gonna start swapping some because I really don't need all this money I'll swap it back to a seven and see what I can get for it And that's just a rough estimate a lot of this stuff is way more expensive than it comes up on the price tag So maybe towards 80 mil Maybe more, I don't know. By the way, I do read comments on my videos, and recently I've been getting a lot of really nice comments, like, just saying that you enjoy my videos, so I appreciate that a lot.